it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina, and I thought it was time to do a follow-up video on the U.S. General Five Cart or Five Drawer Service Cart. Had it for about a year now, I think. I honestly can't remember if it's been a year or a little longer, but I figured it was time to do a follow-up. Want to let you know how it's working. First thing I want to point out is that yeah, I still have the shocks on opposite each other. If you can see that in the video, I'm not sure, but uh, I know I got a lot of comments when I assembled this thing saying it would drive people crazy to have it uh, set up like that. Sorry, I just literally didn't care. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, back to the box itself. How is it holding up? How is it working? A lot of times this box just sits here as a service cart. Uh, my, you know, my bays are here and here. And so there's not a lot of need for me to roll it closer to the job. I did pick up that little toughy on cart not too long ago, so I could have something right up against the bay or right up against the car while I was working on it. But occasionally I do roll it around and it's working pretty darn good. Um, I do like the fact that these drawers stay fairly organized. They're fairly deep when I do have to roll stuff around. Uh, keep my screwdrivers up here, just kind of a catch-all. And um, and then, you know, I, the, these little side catches, they're kind of a pain, but they work pretty well overall. Keep a lot of air tools in here. And, and um, But as far as like the slides, they roll really well. Everything seems to work pretty good on there. I have no complaints. The lock still works great. I do lock this thing up when I have to leave town. And uh, and the bottom part has become kind of a garbage collection down there. I, I, I just, and that's not a bad thing. It's just that you seem to just collect trash in the bottom of these service carts. Now, one thing I do want to point out on this one is I did add this. This is my Craftsman side locker or, or drawer extension, whatever you want to call it. This came off of the Craftsman 26 inch box that I've had literally since the mid nineties. And guess what? It still works pretty well. And guess what else? It actually fits this box perfectly. It sits right in the lip. You can still close it and lock it. It sits against it. There's little rubber tabs down at the bottom that hold it in place. And so, even though it's a competing brand, shall we say, this works well. And it does make me wonder, now you know, uh, Harbor Freight's gone on to Series 2, so all their side equipment is now 24 inches deep instead of 22. But I wonder if uh, if you couldn't get a Series 1 uh, side cabinet from uh, Harbor Freight and fit that on the side of these as well. So just something to be aware of. But yeah, man, so, you know, this was never in a shop. So this is just in my private shop environment. I do work on cars for a living, so it does get beat on, it does get used, it does get grease and oil and all that other stuff all over it. But I've got no real complaints. I mean, it just, it just does what it's supposed to do. And from what I've read on the internet and seen in other people's posts, uh, that seems to be the case. I mean, these things are just really well built. Now, before this, I had a Matco, uh, a tool cart, it was also a five drawer, and I had that thing for the better part of 20 years, and I had bought it used, and I had replaced the drawer slides on it once or twice, but other than that, it was a fairly good box. The paint was destroyed, so one of the reasons I got this was because the paint, I wanted it to match the, the main box that I have, and it looks pretty darn good. Anyway, it's a short video, but that is what I wanted to cover here in the U.S. General Series Tool five drawer tool cart. Would I recommend it? You bet. I mean, I picked this thing up for $179 with a super coupon. And, uh, you know, I sold the Matco one after 20 plus years for a hundred and it was beat. So, I mean, you know, what more could you ask for out of a tool cart than it just works, right? And I imagine resale value wise, if I wanted to get rid of this and maybe get a, a, an upper and lower 26 to put more tools in and, and get rid of the roll cart setup, that I could probably sell it for 125, 150 as it is right now. So it's, it's no real loss. And as long as I took care of it, that would probably be the case for many years to come. Anyway, that's it for today. My name's Eric. I am the owner of Farpoint Farms, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, perhaps you'll think about liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Take care.